Hey everybody, it's Gordy coming at you today. I know it's been a long time since I did a video. Um, I'll explain all that in another video, but I finally got my life situated where I can actually start um, building my preparedness lifestyle again. <clears throat> um, so I'm shooting this video because I wanted to show you what it's like starting a new garden in a new place. And uh, I took a few short videos and a couple of pictures and you'll see um, it's a challenge. Did it all by hand. I mean, you know, what are you going to do if um, SHTF, which everybody's like, oh, I'm just going to buy, you know, a, a pack of survival seeds and that's all I need and a hoe and a shovel. And, and then when, when SHTF happens, well, then I'll just plant a garden. Uh, uh, stay tuned. You'll see. Um, it's nice to have uh, a gasoline tiller. Um, it's nice to have access to a tractor and fuel and electricity and all that. Um, the, uh, the bed that I did today is only about six by eight. And I added four bags of manure compost, cow manure compost, and one big bag, uh, I think it's three cubic feet of uh, peat moss to it to amend the soil because out here it's sandy and it's clay um, and as you'll see there are some rocks so um, just to let you know some of the things that I planted um, and and it didn't well you know life is still happening I didn't get them I didn't get my seed pods put in the ground soon enough. The weather's been bad. It got cold late. Uh, a ton of excuses, but that's exactly what they are, excuses. You know, and what's the maximum effective range of an excuse? Zero meters. So, um, but I've got some broccoli, some Brussels sprouts, some cabbage, some cucumbers, some lettuce, several different types of lettuce, uh, a couple of types of onions. Some of the onions haven't come up. I don't know if they just take a long, long time to sprout or if those seeds were bad. Um, some spinach, two different types of spinach. I, I like a lot of leafy greens in case you were wondering. Um, some butternut squash, some zucchini, some straight neck squash, some crookneck squash, some early crookneck squash. Um, and then what? three, four, four different types of tomatoes. I've got some homestead tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes, beefsteak tomatoes, and a mar globe. And then I've got one jalapeno pepper plant and one sweet pepper plant that um, hopefully will be coming up. Um, like I said, I, I messed around and they were in their little seed pod too long, which I, I went to Wally World and got a 36 pod tray and uh, watered them and then planted the seeds and then watered them about once a week and I should have put them in the ground about a, two weeks ago. Um, but again, life happens. Um, and this is, it's just a couple of plants of each one. In some cases, it's one plant of each one because I just want to see what actually will grow out here. And of course, the spot that I've got picked out is not ideal. It doesn't get full sun all day. Um, it only gets about four hours of full sun. So um, that's probably going to be a challenge as well, but um, I'll, sh <laughs> I'll show you here. Well, no, I can't spin this thing around, but let's do this. So that's my front porch. That's my front yard. And that area out there is where the garden's going to need to go. And there's still a lot, a lot of trees that are going to have to be cut, stumps that are going to have to be dug out, and uh, it's probably going to be a couple more years, but in the meantime, I'm going to try and do a little patch um, in the back just to practice my skills and, and maybe do a little bit, and uh, my girlfriend and I are planning on going to some farmer's markets and buying some fresh vegetables, and we're going to teach ourselves to pressure can. So. That's where we are. Um, if you think you're gonna go out there and just buy a pack of survival seeds and a shovel and a hoe and uh, make a garden when you need to, hmm, you better start learning and doing right now. 
All right, stay tuned for the other videos uh, and photos. So I'll catch you out there. Shalom, y'all. Nobody said it was going to be easy. There's a little taste. A lot of these plants don't look very good because I messed around and waited too long to get them in the ground and that one and that one the seed never sprouted but I put them in there because I've got a piece of paper that has everything so I know what's what keeping records of the garden now the squash and zucchini and all that it laid down when I watered it it'll come back just fine they were doing great the, onions and tomatoes and lettuce and all that was not doing so great. <laughs> 